What up, though, folks? So you may or may not have watched the first episode, which is one where I just recorded it to um, get the podcast out there in video format, kind of dip my toe in the uh, video game, but video game. Uh, <laughs> but uh, I kind of wanted to go over some of what I experienced recording that video and how that's going to affect this YouTube channel going forward. So um, one of the bigger problems that I had, well, it's not really a big problem, but it was a, a inconvenience is the fact that I recorded that video on my iPhone as I'm recording this one. And, you know, I have a professional grade camera as a photographer. The problem is that it's max 20 minutes recorded video. Um, and with doing, if I were to try to record that as a podcast, obviously I podcast longer than 20 minutes. I mean, I have like webcams, but they're kind of shitty. So like, there's no really point to using those webcams. So I decided to use my iPhone. Like it's got a great camera on it. Um, I have a stand for it. I have a, uh, you know, a ring light. So I'm like, this will work out. I'll use the iPod ca iPhone camera and it should be good. It turned out to be too good. Um, the file size was massive. We're talking uh, 4K video. Uh, so the file size, I think for that episode of the podcast that I posted was about seven gigabytes. So it took me a very long time just to do something simple like like trim the video. Um, midway through that video, if you've watched it, uh, my son comes home. He went out with my mom on like a little car ride or whatever, and he comes back and he rings the doorbell. And one, he had a text that he already knew that the he should have known that the front door was unlocked. He could have just come in. Didn't read his text message, whatever. He rings the doorbell. Second part to that, so of course that means I got to go let him in, but second part to that is um, when anything happens with any of my security stuff. So I have a, I have a front doorbell, I have a garage spotlight slash kind of like a ring doorbell. This is all ring products, by the way. I have a backyard one. Um, and then all that's connected through uh, Amazon and Alexa. So, oh, I shouldn't have said her name. Because <laughs> I have one in this room, which is the point that I'm trying to make, is that whenever anything happens on one of those devices, I'm alerted on any of the, uh, we'll call them Amazon devices that I have in the house. So I have a, I have one in my living room and then I have one in this office. So that allows me to know if something's going on. So when he rang the doorbell, my uh, Echo Dot that I have in this room said somebody's at the door and I'm like oh great so like this that fucked up the podcast and that fucked up this video so um I had to pause both which necess then I had to restart so that necessitated me having to uh join those two clips together both in the podcast and on the video when you're working with a seven gigabyte video file nothing's easy so um I did that and it took probably it took long enough just to process the video um, from the changes that I made. So when I trimmed it, it had to prepare and, 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 and re, uh, re edit the video. That took a long time. Then, um, saving it to my phone took a long time. And then trying to upload it to YouTube took hours because it would get to a certain point and then start over for whatever reason. And when you have a seven gigabyte file, you can't, you can't have something like that because it's going to, God forbid you get the 90% complete and then it starts over. So what I did was I took the video from my phone, put it on my computer, and then uploaded it through YouTube that way. Um, that actually seemed to work, but because of that, it's just a minor hassle, a minor, major hassle to try to do a whole podcast on the video because, you know, 39 minutes is on the low end of my podcast. You know, one mic can usually run like an hour. I have other podcasts that can run like an hour and a half that increases the probability of a, a doorbell ring or anything else that might have to make me pause it or stop recording. And that also increases the file size and all the time. So what I decided to do is that I'm going to use this YouTube channel as kind of like a, uh, a promotion for the podcast. Uh, so what I'm going to do is whenever I watch something, I'm going to come and record like a quick initial reaction video. So I'm talking five, 10 minutes tops. So, and then that will be kind of like a, a pub, a pub for the podcast. So it'll be like, okay, I watched uh, Fargo season finale last night 
it was blah, blah, blah. I'll talk about the finale briefly, not in any great detail, just briefly. Well, you know, whether or not I liked it, some important things that might've happened, whatever. Then I'll post that. And then that can be like a preview of what's to come on the podcast whenever I record the podcast. So you'll get, you know, multiple, probably five to 10 minute videos per week that are just like quick, like one hit. Here's how I felt about blank. And then you'll get the full podcast uh, on the the audio format in iTunes, wherever it is that you listen to podcasts, you'll get the full gig there. So that's the plan going forward for this video feed. Um, as I get more accustomed to recording videos and realizing what works, what doesn't, what kind of uh, 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 equipment I may or may not need, any changes I might want to make, those changes might come. But for right now, that's what I'm going to do. So um, I should be watching the Fargo, the latest episode of Fargo tonight. Um, I'll probably record that initial reaction video tomorrow, even though it's Thanksgiving. It's like, again, five, 10 minutes. It's not going to take a long time. So I'll do that and continue to give me any feedback that you might have on the quality of the videos, the quality of the podcast, any tips that you might have. Like, hey, man, I see you got this. But if you did that, it'd be way easier. Or maybe one of you experts might be watching this video and you're like, oh, man, here's a here's a quick way to subvert that whole iPhone uh, massive file situation you had. And you can keep doing that. But Recording a full podcast, um, both audio wise and video by myself is going to be kind of like a pain in the ass where I probably won't do it. I, and I like this idea, this like quick initial feedback, like, bam, here's what I think about this. Here's what I think about that. And you guys can can listen to the full podcast whenever that drops. And I'll probably do the same thing with the fights, um, you know, kind of come on after or the following morning after a fight is over because I might be too fucked up to do it right after but like you know the following day after a fight is over come on and be like here's my quick thoughts um you know see the podcast to to hear the rest so that's it for right now um I'll see you guys soon probably in a day or two uh talking Fargo and um probably anything else that I've watched as well like real quick like again real quick hits so see you guys uh, remember to subscribe. Remember to give me that feedback. One Mike Podcast 313 at gmail.com. One Mike Pod on Twitter. Peace.